there's no way you're gonna get out of this without doing some time. I got a plan. I want what's owed to us. I can sell it and get us out of Dodge, and then they're never gonna see us again. I wrote this um, with the, the hope, the dream, you know, that I would get the chance to play Jensen because I feel like I know the character so intimately and he's uh, an amalgam and he's based upon a lot of people that I know personally or that I uh, grew up with and uh, he's from a place near where I grew up. So I did, but I also try not to ever hang my hat on that because the reality is sometimes getting a film made may require uh, for the best film someone else taking the role and I always have to be at peace with that. Um, similar thing happened with the last film that I wrote, it was called Animals, and I always hoped and dreamed that I would get to be the, the male role that I wrote in it, but, um, and luckily that worked out, so we'll see if I keep getting lucky. You can leave a baby at a hospital and they can't ask any questions. That's the law. No, she gets left alone back there and she can't go back there. She can't. Do you have any idea how long you go to prison for kidnapping? Kidnapper, she was alone. Karen's uh, a dream. She's a genius actor. She's a genius person. She's um, a huge hearted, uh, incredibly talented woman who is really inspiring to be around. She's incredibly prolific. She writes, she directs, she acts. This is a really tough script, you know, and, I, and it's not for everybody. And so when Karen read it, thank God, she just flipped and responded and strongly, strongly wanted to be a part of the film and um, I was honored and the director was honored and we, um, we met and it was just a golden fit from the moment we met and we've been close friends ever since. I want her healthy and happy. She smiles at me. God! I love Glasgow. I want to come back with my family. I want to come back for future festivals. It's like, um, it feels like a sister city to me. It's like got uh, things about it that I really love um, from the time that I spent in Chicago. There's elements of it that feel like the Lower East Side in New York. And there's, um, there's this old, old, um, you know, kind of haunted historical quality to just walking around. And, and the people are incredibly warm and nice. And I've been shopping for comic books and I've been to bookstores and I've been to cafes. I've seen some amazing movies here too. I've seen some great film. This festival has done an incredible job curating um, some amazing work, so it's really cool. You can't be here. I love you and I love her. I know.